Wow. Amazing. Oh. Beautiful. Pretty. Marmala art. It's for Hinata. You guys, welcome back. It's another A through Z series video, and today we have H for Hinata. And, um, yeah, as you can see, this is another Twitch video where uh, I recorded it on Twitch. Or I didn't record it. I live streamed all of this on Twitch. And I think I'll be doing that from now on because I'm on Twitch all the time streaming. So if you guys get a chance, come on over and hang out with us. Um, I'll put some more information in the description for you guys. But, uh... Yeah, it's just a little bit easier for me since the videos are already there. I can just download it and edit them a bit. And uh, again, I've got my cute little emote over here just to cover up my face because <laughs> uh, when I speed it up like this, it looks a little nauseating, honestly. Like, it's moving so fast and weird. But uh, you guys, we made it. It's, it's October. October is here. Inktober is here. And I'm crazy. I'm so busy. But I was like, screw it. We're going to do Inktober anyway. <laughs> Um, I actually did it last year, you guys, and I did it under a different pen name, sneaky sneaky, because uh, a year ago I was dabbling with the idea of having a different pen name for, you know, as an artist that I could really just um, link to myself and share with everyone because I was a little more reserved about, you know, all the pinup style art I was doing and um, it was only just tagged with Marmawa, but I didn't share that with, like, everybody that I knew. Um, but I've since realized that that's just silly and it's too much. It's too much work anyways. And I, I've kind of gotten over it. Uh, now everyone kind of knows my name and they see my face. And I tell people that I draw anime boobs. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. But anyways, I did Inktober traditionally last year under a different pen name. And I had a lot of fun with it, actually. Uh, so I decided I'm going to do it again this year, but I'm going to do it digitally di di digitally, so that I can put it up on um, the stream and do it with you guys easier. Uh, and yeah, I'll be posting those every day on Instagram and Twitter and, uh, and my Discord, you know, all those fun places. So hopefully you guys are doing Inktober too. If you're not, then, you know, don't feel any pressure, but uh, you, if you guys want to do it with me... I'm going to put a link to my Discord down below. Jump in the Discord. I have a gallery, a daily gallery, uh, so that you can show off your daily ink drawings. And I also have one for each Wednesday's prompt that we'll just show off on the stream. I know this is talking a lot about the stream, but it's kind of just become my life. And it's like my main thing that I'm doing now. And I, I really like it. And I like hanging out with you guys. So if you're doing any kind of ink stuff and you want to come hang out with us and some other artists, Please feel free to come, you know, join and share your stuff with us. But yeah, Inktober is fun. Today, uh, the prompt is venomous and that's all done. It's totally not relevant to this H4 Hinata piece, but honestly, you guys, it's been so dang busy that <laughs> I just didn't, I had no idea what to talk about for this, um, for this video. But I figure I kind of like it as a, um, just something chill where we just, just kind of come and talk and hang out for a bit. But yeah, hopefully you guys like that. If you don't, if you want me to have more structured videos and stuff, let me know. Um, yeah, it's been pretty busy because it's finally October and that means KimiCon is here. And if you haven't heard from my last videos, KimiCon is my first convention ever. I'm going to be selling my prints and these are the first time I've ever gotten like, this is the first time I've ever gotten prints made, so all of this has, like, been kind of taking over everything, and hopefully things will slow down a bit afterwards. Well, I don't know. Like, I like how busy I am, but I'm still figuring out how to uh, manage all my time. Um, I feel like I'm just working 24-7, which is, is a good thing, but sometimes it's good to just kind of slow down and take a breather, take a step back, and just reevaluate everything that's going on and especially to see if like you can make you know things more efficient but that being said yeah KimiCon is coming up and uh, also I'll put a link in the description for KimiCon that's going to be in Canada so I don't recommend going abroad for your first con like me which was kind of silly but I'm in too deep but um yeah KimiCon my draw was like my draw to it was that Sakimi Chan was going to be there and Tsukimi-chan, I've talked about her before, if you don't know her, 
just type in Sakimi Chan. Like, I'll put her, like, information down in the description as well. But uh, she's an amazing artist, and I know that because she's going to be there, a lot of other artists are going to be drawn to it. So I feel like it's going to be a really awesome opportunity to network and connect and have a, you know, great time meeting other artists and building more of a community and getting experience and also getting to meet Sakimi Chan, hopefully, which will be awesome. Um, but I'm really excited. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if I got enough prints for everything or what, but we're going to go and we're going to, um, we'll just have to see. But yeah, that's why it's been so busy. I've been kind of time crunched on certain things like making sure I have everything ordered in time so that it arrives in time for the con. But I just put in another order for 8.5 by 11 prints where originally I planned to only have 11 by 17 prints. But when they came in, I got the proofs. I don't have like all of the prints yet. Those should be coming in like a couple days. So I cannot wait. But uh, the proofs came and they're really big and I love them. But they're pretty big and I kind of want to give... Um, buyers more options so if that may be too big for them or not really in their budget I would like to provide them with another option so I was like okay let's get some smaller ones but not too small because I don't really have like cutesy art like mine's more of the illustration so I know a lot of artist alley tables will have like really small like postcards and really cute things like stickers and stuff which yeah down the road would be super fun to do but for now again it's the first con there's a lot of investment and uh, learning to be done so for now we're just gonna focus on the art so I've got two print sizes 11 by 17 and eight and a half by 11 and uh, yeah I don't know if I got enough of all of them we'll have to wait and see but that's just been my life my life has been awesomely busy because like I don't know starting twitch and with the con and everything uh, I feel like my art career is finally you know grabbing on to something and we're like we're going and <laughs> it's busy but it's a good busy um so I'm really excited I'm excited to be making more art I'm excited to be growing a community of um, other artists and people who are just really wanting to support me and it's been super amazing I'm so overwhelmed by all of it but yeah so now I just got to figure out this YouTube thing honestly I was just like YouTube is fun I just I'd love to put more time into it, but I just, I cannot find a way to fit it in. Even making time to edit this video and talk for this video is really proving a challenge for me, which is why I kind of figured it would be like a a word vomit, <laughs> word vomit time for mom so that I can just talk about all the stuff going on in my life and, um, you know, what's what's next and art topics and things and I guess I could discuss the picture a little bit. Uh, Hinata. So I've been playing around with style. I know style is like a really big thing. Everyone wants to find their style as an artist. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm 100% there yet. I'm still playing around with, you know, do I want it to be a more cartoon style? Do I want it to be a more um, realistic style? Because I like both and there's always times where I'm like, I really like how this looks, Ooh, but I kind of want to try this. <laughs> so I think slowly but surely, I'm getting more of a style that's coming through. But, um, yeah, the Sinata piece was, was interesting. Um, the color was a little hard. I wasn't really into it. As you guys see, because I'm on Twitch, I, uh, I have uh, a lot of artists will come in and hang out. And so they'll show off their stuff. So if you keep seeing random, like, drawings pop up during the video, that's just uh, other artists posting and showing off their stuff. So... Uh, yeah, I kind of like to see what everyone else is doing, and I think it's it's really awesome to help out other artists, I think, because, I don't know, I guess because I understand how hard the grind is, or how much you have to grind, that, um, you know, I don't really mind, like, supporting or helping other artists out. I mean, obviously there are some, like, people who just want to come in and use you and they don't really care about supporting you back or networking or anything. They're just kind of like, hey, look at my stuff, and then they leave. But that's fine. Like, that's going to happen. It's the internet, whatever. But, uh, I just, okay, here's, here's a topic. Sellouts. I don't understand the, the bad rap for, like, being a sellout or what that even means, honestly, because so many artists that I've come across, um, you know, now that I'm getting more involved in the community, so many artists 
are so worried about selling out and I think that a lot of um <laughs> I feel like a lot of other artists and people think that I'm a sellout maybe because I draw like sexy girls and it's like ooh the clickbait but <laughs> I actually really do enjoy what I'm drawing but even if I were to be a quote-unquote sellout I don't think that there's anything wrong with you know trying to have people see the stuff you can do and if you're trying to make a living out of it it's just the same as like you know working at McDonald's and you don't want to work there but you need to make a you know living <laughs> and uh, be able to survive and eat right so if you can do it by doing something that you love, why not? Because, you know, say I didn't like to draw anime boobs, but that's what got the clickbait or whatever. In the long run, I'm still getting better at my art and getting better and, you know, <laughs> earning something. Uh, so I just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it's bad to try and get yourself out there. It's bad to draw what people want to see or drawing a meme or what's popular. There's nothing wrong with, with trying and I mean if you honestly hate it then then don't do it but you know I don't know I just don't understand that whole concept I think it's just another way to keep people down but that's just me what do you guys think about the whole sellout thing I just I don't know I just don't like being a hater like that I guess <laughs> I try not to be a hater sometimes I am I guess everyone's guilty of it but I don't know, like the Bowsette thing everybody got like really upset afterwards because everyone's like oh like what's what is this gonna be over like oh you're just drawing this to join the crowd I don't know it just like kind of bothers me because even if someone wants to draw something like I was listening to one uh, streamer on Twitch it's like even if they are wanting to draw something or do something for someone else they're so worried about doing it because they don't want to look like a sellout so even if they don't consider themselves to be a sellout it's actually something they enjoy they don't want to seem like one so I don't know I just think it's I think that especially on the internet you just gotta do you just gotta do you because honestly people are gonna be haters whether you're you or not so just uh keep on trucking <laughs> I don't know I'm trying to be inspirational here but <laughs> uh but yeah you guys like I said this month last month Everything's just been kind of a whirlwind. Uh, another update in my life. I think we I talked about it in the last video, but um, you know we're supposed to move now, which just it just came out of nowhere, and so that's another reason I've been kind of busy. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Sorry this this video is a little rambly. Um, if you're still listening this far in, power to you. Raise the roof, you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And, um, really, I'm sorry this one's so rambly. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, maybe one day we'll figure out this YouTube thing. Until then, I'm just gonna have some rambly videos. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys liked my Hinata piece, though. And, uh, like I said, come hang out with me on Twitch. It's a little more personal, and, you know, you can see more art there. Because, uh, unfortunately, just the time for YouTube is not there at the moment. But one day, maybe. One day. Um, and, uh, yeah. Let me let me know what you guys thought. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, special, special shout out to my $20 patrons over on Patreon, Tank238 at Metarook. And we've actually got some newbies, David and Joe Evers. Yay! You guys, thank you all for your support. All of you are amazing. I cannot thank you enough. And, um... Yeah, until next time. I I'll, I'll pr I promise I'll make the next one better. I mean, I'll tr I'll try anyways. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Happy October. Bye.